Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are going to look at six different players profiles and also a couple matches between them and try and figure out who the five real masters players are and who the one fraud masters is. Now I've seen a couple of these videos in Brawl Stars before and I think it's a lot of fun and a great idea. I want to try and use my pro brain to see if I can figure out who is the fraud and who is not. So let's get into it. First we're going to take a look at everyone's profile. So here we have FC Sweaty. So that's a pretty interesting name. He's got a 39 highest win streak which is pretty good to be honest. 60k highest trophies and 30,000 3v3 so this guy actually does seem pretty good at the game I'm not going to lie the biggest indicator that I have when I look at who is good at the game is their 3v3 victories and this guy seems to have a pretty high amount next up we have YouTube Ultron now this one I've seen this guy before I don't know if he's got masters or not I just the name is weirdly familiar he's got 50,000 trophies but he has a prestige which means he had a brawler somewhere on the leaderboard that was pretty high up i'm assuming it was carl because carl's his profile brawler and his highest win streak he's only got 11,000 3v3 wins though this might be a mini i'm not sure but this guy looks a little bit suspect gonna keep my eye out on him next up we have mumu so mumu's got the stmn spray i mean pin in the battle card and the brock profile so he already looks like an absolute unit he's got 70 1,000 trophies as well which is pretty good I don't I don't know you could tell dude cares about his rank a little bit so I kind of feel like he is a masters player and he's also got 35,000 3v3 victories which is a lot for a casual so I do think this guy is masters next up we have NTH King and you can tell straight away his favorite brawler is Piper he's got the 50 win streak and Piper on the profile so you already know this guy loves to play Piper he's got 73,000 trophies as his personal best and 25k 3v3 win so i think this guy you can tell is kind of a pretty good player just looking at the profile i don't think it's him so next up we have mufi mufi's got 56k trophies which is about average i think for this brawl lobby he's got almost 25,000 3v3 victories which is pretty good and his highest gust win streak is actually 52 so mufi kind of pops off he has 4,000 almost duo wins and 2,000 solo wins. So he definitely plays the game a lot. And last but not least, we have Pleb. So what do I notice straight away when I look at Pleb's profile? He's got 78,000 trophies. So he's by far the highest trophy guy in this lobby. He has almost 32,000 3v3 victories. And he's got about 2,000 each for both showdowns. So that's a lot of Brawl Stars and a lot of playing. He also has a 43 win streak on Juju, which I mean, it's impressive to get a win streak that high, but Juju is kind of broken right now. But what I do realize is he has Juju and he knows to push Juju. So this in my head kind of makes me think he's a little bit of a hardcore player that knows what's going on. So I don't think this guy is going to be the fraud either. So just looking at all of these, YouTube Ultron looks a little bit sus. I mean, some things about him, like the prestige, makes me think he's a good player. And then some things, basically everything else, makes me think he's kind of not a good player. But the thing that makes me think that he's actually a mini account is his fame. He has a moon fame, which is pretty low. I think that's a mini because my mini account also has around that and I barely play on it. Now, outside of YouTube Ultron, I think FC Sweaty probably has the worst stats and profile. I mean, everyone is really close, but for some reason, something about FC Sweaty just makes me feel like he's the fraud. Okay, so going into set number one, it looks like we have Daryl. Gus and Chester versus 8-Bit, Larry, and Ruffs. So I made them draft because draft is a very important part of the game. And I just wanted to see if they understood draft concepts and not. So Ultron hits a really good Gus shield right there. Just off of that one Gus shield and positioning, I'm just going to assume that he's a Masters player. I'm totally taking him out. Like, I know he's a mini account. I'm so sure of it. So I'm just totally taking him out. So we have a Larry versus a Daryl. Chester with positioning and a rough's not doing so good. So I got my eyes on Moo, Pleb, and the Larry. Moo gets a good kill over there. Ultron's doing a fantastic job. Nice little Daryl roll. Good play by Pleb. And the blue team is absolutely dominating. Another great shield. I'm 100% sure it's not Ultron. Like, I'm 100% sure it's not him. My eyes are on King right now. He's going to go down again. Moo Moo and Moo FYX are kind of holding their own, but you guys can tell the blue team is just doing a lot better than the red team at the moment. Daryl's going to go in for a roll. He's going to hit that. Gus is going to shield himself because he knows he has to live. Good play. And that's going to be a complete wipe for the blue team game number one. Okay, after watching game one, I think it's either Moo Moo or NTH King, but we still have a lot more to watch. Okay, so going into the next game now, 
same thing. It's a best of three for every set. The blue team isn't having that strong of a start, but Ultron is still playing really, really good. So King over here on the Larry, something that him going Larry tells me is that he wasn't comfortable playing an aggressive brawler. And usually good players, and I'm not saying he's not a good player, but usually masters players are okay going aggressive. I'm not saying it was a bad pick. It's actually probably a good pick. It's just something that I'm noticing straight off the bat. Good taps actually by the red team. Sweaty with a really good lane switch actually, even though he wasn't necessarily supposed to abandon that left lane. He knew he didn't have a good matchup. He switched to the right and got a free kill. So he's totally off my radar. The blue team just looks really good. I'm 100% certain it's somebody from the red team. King does get that kill. So we have two moves on the red team. We have Moo Moo and Moo F-R-Y-X. I kind of think it's one of those two. I really think it's one of the moves, but I'm not 100% sure. And it looks like this is going to be game for the blue team. They got a hypercharge hurt though. They do actually get a kill. So they do reset and they do have a chance here. Really well played by them. Really good team synergy and organization. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing here from the red team. Now, unfortunately, the Larry does go down. Dog does get a treat and he's trying to make a play. He's doing his absolute best, but it does look like this is going to be game and the blue team is probably going to take the win. They have a chance of killing Ultron. Oh, are they going to be able to do it? Oh, they are able to do it and they're going to get another reset. So I'm really impressed actually by what the red team's doing here. They're making it very hard for me to figure out who this fraud is because nobody's standing out as not good in this lobby. I actually think everyone's playing really good and I'm not just saying that to be nice to my viewers. Can they reset again? Oh my God, that shot hit, but just a little bit too late. And that is going to be it. The blue team is going to win. So just by looking at these end screen stats, I don't think it's Ultron again. I think it's a mini. Sweaty played that really good and Pleb also did his thing. King held it down really well, although he did have a good brawler and good matchups. Mumu as well had a difficult time facing Ultron because the matchup wasn't good, but he did hold his own and same with Moo. So that was a really tough set. I'm going to ask him to switch the teams around a little bit and let's see if I can come up with more. Now we're going to watch Sneaky Fields and after this set is over, I'm going to have three guesses to try and see if I can get three Masters players removed out of the fraud list. If I get them all right, then we go to a third and final set and I can use that as my prediction to see who the fraud is. If I get it wrong, I lose. So we got to lock into the Sneaky Field set and see what we can figure out. All right, so going into the next set, we have Brawl Ball now. We have Moo, Pleb, and Sweaty on one team and then Ultron, King, and Moo Moo on the other. So I see a Ash, Gale, and Rico. That is a really good comp. I like that. Ultron is going to be on the Rico, which is a pretty high skill brawler. He's one of the people that I said I was pretty sure is 100% a Masters player. So he's going to go off. Good save over there by Moo FYX. King is doing work on the Ash. And I also love Moo Moo's pick of the Gale. That's a really nice pick. And that's going to be an early goal for the red team. So you can see Ultron is like dominating these lobbies. So you can tell he's definitely not the fraud. Good throw by Pleb. You can tell the blue team doesn't have a mid. Like they have Nita as their mid, which is a really weird draft. So that makes me feel like they don't have as good of drafting skills, which is not going to lead them to be masters players. Two really nice kills though. We did even out the teams, I feel like a lot more. And it looks like this should be a goal. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's not gonna be a goal. Good save over there by Mumu. Good bear by Pleb though. This is actually really good gameplay. It's not the worst thing in the world, which is kind of what I expected it to be. So let's see if Ultron can stop this. He's gonna waste his hypercharge. Good pull by Sweaty to guarantee the goal. And now it's going to be 1-1. So amazing gameplay. I'm having a really hard time figuring out who I think the fraud is. <laughs> this is actually really difficult. Um, good blow over there by Moo Moo. King is going to get the kill and pop his gadget and get two. So King was on my fraud list. He low-key isn't after... Oh my god, he's back on the fraud list. He missed the goal. Okay, he's back on the fraud list. You know, everyone does that, even pro, so I'm not going to hold it against him. Sweaty with not the greatest pull, but he's going to be able to get the kill anyways. So right now, I'm kind of thinking it's one of the moves. I, for some reason, really think it's one of the moves. Oh, really nice three tap by Moo Moo over there. I mean, by not Moo Moo, Moo FYX, and a very nice team wipe. That's going to be a win for the blue team. Very well played. Going into game two, obviously, same comp, same team, same everything. I like the aggression that the blue team is showing this game. They definitely got some confidence from that last win. Let's see if the red team can respond. I'm looking specifically at Moo Moo and King to do something because they were on my fraud list. I think it's one of the moves. I'm pretty sure, but I do love the way that Moo FYX has been playing this. 
decent blow by Mumu that shows positioning, but he didn't hit any stun, so it was kind of a waste if you look at it like that, which I didn't love to see. And Sweaty's going to go up. He's going to be able to get the kill. And he's doing okay. He's got some good positioning. Same with Pleb. They're pushing into the Ash. Very nice shots from the Ash. But he's going to go down. They have a bear up and a Tara pull. Let's see if they can make a play with this Tara pull. Good pass. over. Oh, good clip over there by the Rico. But this Tara has full positioning. Perfect positioning. He's going to get a nice pull off. I don't know if he's going to be able to get the kill. He's not going to be able to. And that's going to allow the red team to stop it now pleb went to aggro over there so he's not going to be able to get the save i mean the goal sorry or hold any positioning and this is pretty tough to tell again mumu not with the greatest gale super so something i've noticed is mumu knows good picks he picked 8-bit and he picked gale but he's not necessarily playing them the best so that could mean he's a masters player because he knows the picks Maybe he's not playing them the absolute best. That means he's the fraud. It's like really hard to tell, to be honest. It's very difficult to tell. I don't know how people do these types of videos and get it right. But again, really nice control. Really nice gameplay from everyone in the lobby. No one here looks like a fraud to my eyes. Sweaty's going to get his super. He's going to go down to the Ash. The Ash is playing unbelievable. I just got to say, NTH King is playing this really well. I don't know if he's an Ash one trick or something, but he knows ball. Mumu with a decent blow over there. I'm not going to roast him for that one. And we have a Sandy Hypercharge now. So this is going to be their goal scoring opportunity. They're going to get one kill, two kills. And this is about if they can score. You can't mess up this goal and be a Masters player. Mu FYRX did not mess it up whatsoever. He's going to put the ball in the net. And that is going to give the blue team the win, I think. And probably the set. Gale does have Hyper though. So Gale's going to come up. Good positioning there by the Ash. Ash, no goal. And the blue team is going to take the win. So something I noticed is that Sweaty and Pleb won both sets. Even though Pleb didn't have the best stats, the Nita pick was a really strong pick. That was definitely a correct pick. And you have to be a Masters player to know that type of stuff, I feel like. King, he popped off. He got 10 kills, but he was on both losing teams. He also had a really good kill to death ratio on Larry and lost both games. So although he's playing really good and I am going to give him his credit for playing good, kills don't equal wins knowing how to win games equal wins so that's something i'm looking out for here and mumu again with not the greatest stat line so i get three guesses on who i think is masters so i'm gonna go and guess sweaty i'm gonna guess pleb and i'm not going to guess ultron because i think ultron is for sure a masters player so i'm going to guess nth king and that's going to leave ultron mumu and mu fyrx so i have three guesses here we go all right, so first we guess Pleb, and he has confirmed that he is a Masters player, so we are one for one so far, looking good. Next up, we're gonna go with FC Sweaty. Hopefully I get this one correct. I'm kind of shaking right now, I'm pretty nervous. All right, FC Sweaty has confirmed that he is a Masters player, so I'm two for two. Those two are completely off our list, and now I'm very confident about Ultron. So again, I'm gonna go NTH King. I'm not so sure about this one because he lost both games. This is a very risky guess, but I wanna win. I don't want to just get close. I want to win. So this is my risky guess. Let's see if I get it right. Yes. Okay. So I just went three for three. All right. And for the third and final map, we're going to be going with bridge too far. Now, the reason I want to see bridge too far is because it's kind of like three solo lanes. So I can really watch the players and figure out who I think is bringing the team down a little bit. Now, before we get into this last game, I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who participated in this video. And then, of course, to the Fraud Masters for playing with people above your level and being okay with not being the best in the room and having people watch that. You are an absolute legend. So going into the third and final set, this is going to be what determines who is the Fraud and who is not. We have Melody, Piper, and Nani on one side, which is a pretty weird comp, versus Colt, Bell, and Lola. So two very interesting comps, I'm not going to lie. Everyone is playing completely lane versus lane. So we're going to be able to tell, I think, pretty easily who is the fraud and who is not. So King, I don't really know what he was doing there, but we already know he is a Masters player. We're looking directly at Mumu. We're looking directly at Mu FYRX and at Ultron. So Ultron is countered, so he might have a hard time. But at the same time, I'm just going to give him benefit of the doubt because, you know, it's pretty hard to win Belvy Piper. I'm looking at the Colt and I'm looking at the Lola right now. So both of them have a pretty decent matchup. Not anymore for the Colt with the Piper on him. 
but he's doing his very best. It looks like Mumu's kind of stuck, so I do like Mumu's picks. Mumu has picked 8-bit on gem grab as a mid, which is good. He's... Oh, Mumu! He's picked Gale, which is a good pick in Brawl Ball. Didn't necessarily play it the best, and now he's playing Melody, and he actually kind of made a mistake there. He ended up, I guess, fixing it, you could say, but at the same time, you know, he's not necessarily playing the objective and doing damage with Melody. Now, he does go in not at the greatest time. He's going to do a little bit of damage and create some space for his team, but not do as much as he probably could have. NHC King is going to use his head. He's going to do some damage, but again, that's not who we're looking at. We're just looking at this Colt and the Melody. We got both moves going up against each other, and Moo FYRX completely just taps up the Melody. So as of right now, I'm like 100% sure. Well, not 100%, but I'm as sure as I can be that Moo Moo is the fraud masters. Now, the thing is, it's so weird because Moo Moo knows what he's doing. You can really tell he knows what he's doing. But at the same time, it just looks like his play just isn't at the level of where his brain is in Brawl Stars, as weird as that is to say. He has some nice jukes there. He's looking pretty good. He's going to be able to get that kill. 15 seconds left. Let's see if he can win it for his team. That might change my opinion, to be honest. He gets his super. He's going around the safe. He gets the lead for his team, actually. And it looks like he's going to win unless this Cole gets super. Cole is not able to get super. And the blue team is actually going to take the win. All right. So going into perhaps the final game here. Really strong start by NTH King on Mu FYRX. They're making this pretty difficult, to be honest, to tell who is who. I have no idea who the fraud is at this point. I thought I was 100% sure that I was going to be Mumu, but he actually clutched up that last game pretty well. He's had every good pick, so I can't blame his picks whatsoever. I don't know what to do. Like, maybe it's Ultron, but Ultron had such a good set one on the Gus that I don't think it's him. And he played really well on the Rico as well. Like, you can just tell that this guy is skilled enough to get Masters. Like, there's no way this guy hasn't gotten Masters yet. There's just no chance. The thing that makes me believe it's Mumu is that he's playing good brawlers, but at the same time, he's not having the biggest impacts on the games while playing these good brawlers. So unless he makes some crazy play, just like I said last time, I am probably going to lock in that Mumu is the fraud masters. Now, these guys are doing crazy damage to the safe, specifically Mu FYRX. Colt does crazy damage, and they're going to win this game in a minute. So we're going to go into game number three, which is going to be our last game. But I'm pretty locked in that Mumu is the fraud. Now, I'm a little bit sad because Mumu does have the STMN pin in his profile. And I'm calling him a fraud. Like, do I really want to do that? Maybe I would rather be wrong and call someone with the STMN pin a fraud. But for the sake of the video, I have to. He's going to get absolutely full clipped by Mu FRYX, who is on our fraud list. So if you're getting full clipped by that guy, I mean... Man, maybe you are the fraud. Let's see what he does over here. Both moves are going to switch lanes and switch matchups here. So let's see if one can play any better. Moo FRYX is going to go down instantly. I can't see what's happening on the bottom. Moo Moo does get super. He switches lanes to get off the Lola. I actually like that lane switch. I really like the way Moo Moo is playing. Like, I actually do think Moo Moo knows exactly what he's doing. And he's making good picks. He's making good plays. I just don't know if he's there mechanically yet to compete with masters players like these guys are the top of the top there are very few players who are masters and five of them in this room are so it's very difficult so now it's a pretty even game things are kind of going the way i expected in game three with both teams calm down but move f y r x is absolutely killing the safe he just does 20 percent, which is going to give his team the lead and mumu a little bit stuck in spawn alt Ultron and Sweaty. I mean, they're kind of doing their things. I think Ultron's playing okay considering he's countered. And Moo FYR, I, I don't know why I keep saying the rest of the letters in his name, but he's doing really good on Cole, I have to say. Now, there's a big lead over here for the red team. They're not going to be able to get the kill on the bell, which would have been huge there. Melody's going to go up the map. Let's see what Melody can do. Absolutely nothing. And honestly, that could be game. It could be one more good push by the red team to call it. It could be it. Piper's going to go down. Hypercharge Cole on safe, and that is going to be game. The red team is going to win, and I'm going to lock Mumu in as my fraud. All right, moment of truth. We are back in the lobby, and we have to guess who the fraud is. So we knew Ultron, or at least we think we know Ultron is not the fraud. So I'm going to go ahead and ask Ultron if he is a Masters player. All right, so we have gone a perfect 
four for four. We have cleared four masters out of the way. It is now between both moves. Now, I don't know if my Discord admins did this on purpose, getting two moves in the same lobby and one of them is a fraud, but here we are. So I'm gonna lock it in. I'm going to ask if Mumu is the fraud and maybe I go a perfect five for five, my first time ever doing this. Let's see. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Oh my God, I'm nervous. He's typing the moment of truth. Oh my God, oh my God. Yes, oh my God, I actually got it right. Oh my God, I almost knocked down my computer getting up and screaming. Oh my goodness, I was able to tell that Mumu himself was the fraud masters. Now, Mumu had a ton of great picks. I do have to say his draft knowledge was really, really good, but you could just tell he seemed like a little bit worse of a mechanical player and just couldn't keep up with the rest of the master players in the lobby. Now, that is going to be it for my video today. If you guys enjoyed these type of videos and you want to be entered in more, like the video, comment on the video, and join my Discord and tell me you want to see more of these videos and you want to participate in the next one. But that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys again soon. And until then...